parts. I see water damage. Of course, I pretty much knew it. But it's funny, instead of fixing something, they just decided to cover it up with this white fire retardant paneling. Which is really dumb. This should be more fun than I really wanted to get into. <sighs> but it is what it is. Y'all know how much I love these. <laughs> oh, where you at, dummy? Uh, sorry, LED lights. You got to go, man. Just, you got to go. Now, a lot of y'all know me. I haven't really tried to play nice and, and get it out without tearing stuff up. But, <laughs> there's something holding me up. Taking all the screws out, the wall out is not holding me up. It's probably a stupid staple or something. But, you know. Really? Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Always in my way. That's okay, though. Well, I got this one panel moved out of the way, and you can see that awesome decor from 1979 sweet i actually like that better than that pink garbage that somebody painted there somebody had a sweet taste for duty <sighs> as y'all can probably tell in my voice i'm really not feeling that feeling this this morning but it is what it is so y'all i think this is the original cut line for the floor so I should be able to just replace this section without really having to mess with that and then in order to replace this section there's the line here and I was really not wanting to move the uh, little island thing here in order to replace the floor underneath this part of the cabinet the sink it's got to be removed. So um, I'm going to have to disconnect the water line going into the sink. I do believe I've got two shutoffs. So I should just be able to disconnect it from the sink itself, take the sink out, get everything out from underneath the sink, and uh, 
start breaking it up. Well, here is some unexpected good news. I was expecting this part of the wall just kind of be black and ugly like the, the other side was. But everything's nice and dry. The insulation looks good. I don't see any sign of like a like a mouse infestation or nothing like that. Even the boards on the bottom look good till I get about right here. Now, once I get past here, it starts getting a little black. But I'm happy with that because I can actually tie into this here and go that way if that needs to be rebuilt. But I'm not even really going to tear off the top half of this because it's probably in good shape. I don't see any signs of like a water damage except for right here, which is not big. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, I think this whole section of wall here is going to be good and solid. Yeah, that makes me happy with that. I don't even know if I'm going, eh, I just don't know. I don't know if I want to tear the floor up out from underneath the wall here because it's in such good shape. So I just might cut it. Now over here it's a different story. But as far as just replacing this next section of plywood, I think I just might cut it before the floor was a skill saw, add a piece of 2 by 4 for some bracing, and put this piece in. And then go to the next piece. It save a little time. It's not necessarily the way I like to do it, but eh, you know, it is what it is. It'd still be a lot better than what I got now. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm gonna take a paneling down. I'm gonna take all this down. And <clears throat> I'm still I'm really surprised at how nice it is up top. So that's good. That's some work I don't have to do. Now this over here, this would be an easy fix, I hope. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Where do you think you're going? If I'm not mistaken, that's would be. He'll be looking for. He'll be looking for some some wood to chew on. He ain't hurt nothing. I'll let him be. Don't you dare get into my Fruit Loops and my Frosted Flakes and my Cheerios, though. We're gonna have words, B. So Mr. Woodby landed on my flash water and I just kind of boop him out <laughs> underneath the trailer so i don't care if you chew on nothing just don't get in my face and jamie likes to kind of go after him so i figured it'd be best if he just go on down the road so anyway i'm gonna pull this paneling here out and uh got a feeling that bottom board's gonna have to be replaced and probably some of the two by fours are rotting up a couple inches so i'm just gonna take a two by four run it across on the bottom and uh rebuild this little section but that also gave me an excuse to go ahead and when i remove that board i can actually pull up this patch that somebody else put down and uh fix it the way i want to or i might leave it the wood's good and solid so are you helping jamie huh rotten dog always gotta be in the middle you know what <clears throat> i am pleasantly surprised at the condition of this wall Cause it has totally taken me by surprise now there is some oops there is some uh damage to the window seal here no big deal i expected that you know um i haven't tore it up all the way along the ceiling yet to kind of look at it but i'm feeling pretty good about it so far now down here i was really expecting some some damage but i'm not seeing it like this little section of the floor right here uh, is the worst spot and even that you know yeah I mean it's rotten but none of the two by fours are rotten everything like right here that's good that's good good that's pretty good now I can come up to about here and cut it off and replace it so I might just cut this here and even over here in the corner it looks pretty good like i said there are there is a little bit of damage but it's not extensive now this section of the floor has been repaired and i'm honestly i'm totally okay with this repair job except they left a big old gap 
right there and i just i can't deal with that so i'm probably gonna pull this up too and pull up the piece that i'm sitting on and i'll replace all this stuff going down through here um i might just come back and fix this at a later date as long as i can get the floor out from underneath of it and get my new floor in i'll just come back after a while and just fix it it's it's not critical so yeah that's pretty cool I'm really happy that I don't have to fix all this stuff. That saves the old pocketbook a little bit. Now I got this front little panel off. And they're like a whole inch away from getting underneath that little partial wall. There's such a big gap. There's all kinds of air coming up. And no wonder, you know, in the wintertime, it always felt like there was an air leak, you know, or uh, air was coming in, just a rush of air more progress now got all the floor out and i just gotta dig out a little bit of floor or the old floor that's underneath that wall so i can kind of scoot the new subfloor up underneath that make it nice and snug hopefully i can so yeah this is it i gotta take my little multi-tool and buzz all that stuff that they put on the floor to try to well the plot thickens <laughs> I got to looking and it looked like that side of the trailer frame, excuse me, <laughs> uh, is low. So I broke out my level and threw it across here just for fun. Don't look bad. It's off just a little bit. Then I get over here and run my level across. And you can see there's a dippy do. It's about a half inch to an inch off. So, I got to looking, and it looks like at some point in time, this 2 by 6 or 2 by 8 it looks like it was split out or cut out or something happened. Um, it feels like it was cut or notched. But that don't make any sense. If you ask me, I don't think the other side was like that at all. So, what I was going to do is cut some shims and put up underneath this 2x4. See if I couldn't bring it up a little bit. I might have to add like a sheet of plywood on top of it or like a little cutout piece and make a shim and see if I can't bring that up a little bit. That would be a whole lot better if I could get these edges level. See if you come over here on the outrigger end, see my bubble? Yep can come up about that far focus dummy and you can see it's out about a half inch so see if I can't fix that so what it is I kind of dug out right here and I found a rock oh center block piece that was under the trailer I dug it out and I used the, the block to put my 12 ton jack on and I'm gonna see if I can't slowly jack it up a little bit and to make my level looking good again. Like I said, you can see it's uh, it's off quite a bit. I'm gonna say it's about a three quarters of an inch low. So let's see what a little jacking would do if it'll bring it up at all. Now it's probably just gonna end up pushing the rock down in the dirt for a minute because it's awful muddy. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what it's doing. I hear it kind of creaking. And I can pull my 2 by 4 out. But maybe it's doing a little something-something. And if it does work, that's going to help alleviate some of the problem. Because once I get in the living room, this wall here sinks down quite a bit anyway. So maybe I'll be knocking out... You know some of that issue too but i don't want to cause any more problem than i have to i think it's just going to push my rock down the dirt because it's so wet let's see here i tell you what me and that would be are going to go in circles here in a little bit see it doesn't really seem like it's doing much i mean it's lifting it up i got the two by four out piece just fine so, I guess I'm going to keep trying it a little bit longer. 
And what you see here are some scrap pieces of the bubble foil that I've got left. And I was figuring, I was like, well, if I'm going to go ahead and put a floor down while I got it, I'll go ahead and lay down the bubble foil too. That way later down the road, I don't have to mess with it because it's so close to the ground over in this corner. So yeah, I cut this piece. That way it exposed the uh, joist. That way it'd have something to set the edge of the board on for the next piece. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna lay this down and start fighting with it until I can get it into place. If I can't get it to slide in good enough, I might go ahead and cut that bottom board off where the two by four uh, wall studs come down and meet. I might cut that off. That way I can actually put the board down nice. But you never know, I might be able to worm it in there. Okay, well, I ended up having to cut the, this bottom plate board out. And since this is so solid right here, I didn't take out the wood from underneath here. I just kind of cut around it. But everywhere else, I should be able to get it all the way up against the, uh, <clears throat> the siding where it needs to go. And again, I'll tell you, that right there, probably the best $35 I ever spent. I believe that's what I paid for it. Because without it, this would have just been such a nightmare headache. But I tell you what, with no borrow. <laughs> with a loose chain it is just awesome but i will have to say if you do use this thing the way i use it be very careful you keep your legs out of the way in case the chain breaks you know you don't want that stuff coming back on you so be careful don't do as i do <laughs> so anyway let me clean my mess up and let's see if we can't scoop this thing in here well, it's about 9.30 at night. You know, I finally got that one board there down. Didn't, or I wasn't able to get that low spot out of the floor over here. Well, it feels like it might be a little bit better. But, you know, it is what it is. So now, I'm thinking about calling it a night. This isn't perfect, just like all my other stuff. I, I mismeasured it again. And I'm just a little short over here, but I guess I'll make a patch piece to go back behind there. But I've got this scrap piece of Advantech right here. And you know what? I think instead of just letting it sit around, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. I mean, what's it going to hurt? It's good stuff, and I got it, and it keep me from wasting, you know, a full sheet of plywood so i'm gonna see if i can't get that to fit real quick and if i can i'm gonna call it quits for the night guess what it's the next morning i was after it till about 12 30 12 45 at night and i hadn't cleaned anything up so after i got done cleaning my gosh it was 1 30 and i was just over it i still hadn't got this board here sitting in all the way i've got to do a little trimming down here underneath that uh, little plate figure out why it's kind of holding it up because i couldn't even beat it in with a sledgehammer i was using a two by four and just kind of smacking it in so holding me up so gotta do a little tweaking and that should just drop in just fine i totally underestimated how long this is going to take i thought you know these pieces here were going to be really quick to just drop in since i'd already done a lot of removal no um so yeah here in the next couple of days i'll make the second part of this video where i'm taking out the cabinets and replacing these boards what's going to suck is i've got to take all my dishes out everything underneath the sink i've got a bunch of stuff in here and it's it's just kind of like cooking stuff uh meat grinders slicers stuff like that so i gotta find a place to put all this stuff and then i'll get right back after it so anyways i hope you all like this video if you would check out the previous video when I first started doing this, I did the concrete footer and all that stuff in that video. Uh, check it out if you would. I'd really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And make sure you click the bell icon so you can constantly get notified whenever I post videos. But please subscribe and check out all the links below. And I'll see you guys later.